Hello, my most amazing artists. Yay! Welcome to Art Class with Christy. We're back. We are back. This week, we are going to draw and paint one of my favorite superheroes, Wonder Woman. Um, if you don't know who she is, she's really cool. She has been around for a long time because when I was a little girl, I dressed up as her. If I was clever, I'd have a photo of that, but I don't. Um, and I kind of like her because she's a bit fearless. She was one of our women of grit um, way back in, I'm just gonna have a look, 2017, so ages ago. We drew and painted her. We're going to do that today. Um, so I'm going to tell you what you need to go and gather. We are, I'm going to use watercolors today, but if you don't have watercolors or you can't use watercolors, you can totally use pencils. You can use crayons, you can use textures, whatever you have or whatever you're allowed to use. You know that you can use that in my art class. It's totally okay. This is the watercolor palette I'm going to use today. I've got two brushes with me today. I think I'll be good for two brushes. We'll see how we go. I've got a big brush and a little brush, a medium sized brush. I call it a medium. I'm gonna draw with my black pencil. You will need a black pencil actually because all of her outlines are sketchy today. We'll talk about that later. And they are done in black pencil. You'll need a lead pencil to draw with. Some paper. Um, and I'm going to have a practice on here with you guys. So you'll need a practice piece of paper. You'll need a water pot, not soup, water. Um, and if you want to rub anything out, you'll need a rubber. I think that's all. I'm going to pause. So, oh, look at that. You can see my name in my heart. So you can pause me, go gather your supplies and then come back. Unpause. Yay, we must be ready. I'm going to move my good piece of paper out of the way and we're going to start here. So you can see we are just doing a portrait of her today. So the paper's in portrait position. It means it's long ways. We're going to draw her head and just the very, very tips of her shoulders. But my, I take up nearly all of my page. First thing we're going to draw is this pointy U shape. I'm going to take up most of my page, but I need to keep in my head, oh, she has got her, I'm going to call it a crown. She's got her crown on and her hair comes out of there. So I need to leave some space. So I'm going to have a look here, leave a little bit of space with me. Then I'm going to come and I'm going to come down around and a little bit of a point and back up pretty good. Now if I go too fast, you guys know you can pause me, just press pause, catch up, or maybe your pause is down the bottom there, I don't know, I think more, it's probably down, oh look at that, oh, it's probably down the bottom there, you can pause me and catch up. We're going to put this line in next, so this is the bottom of her crown, and it's kind of just a little arch goes over the top and meets up the other side. Beautiful. We're going to put her shoulders and her neck and her shoulders in. So our neck, I usually say it's like a bit of a tree trunk. And typically when I draw girls, they have quite long necks, quite a long neck. So but however you do it is totally cool. And then I'm just going to pop her shoulders in. So they're going to come down and around. She's got more shoulders on this one than that one. That's okay. All right, her crown. I'm going to imagine I'm coming up the middle of my page. With my magic marker finger, so I can ghost draw, I'm going to come up the top there. And I'm going to just point a dot. Can you see it? Just a dot there. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to bring a, a side up here for her crown and a side up here. 
So they're about the same length. And then I want to join them up with a bit of a curve. Bit of a curve. Tip. While we're there, we might as well put, draw a star in. So I'm going to draw a five point star. Now, if you're not sure how to draw a star, you can do, draw a triangle, this way, upside down, and you can draw a triangle right way up. And when they overlap, you have a star, so you can do that. Totally okay. Um, let's pop her hair in while we're there. I feel like I'm going super fast today. She's got long, black, wavy hair. So usually in the art class, I would go, you can totally do whatever colors you like, whatever colors you choose. But when we do Women of Grit, they have some special features that we can identify that who they are. And I know this is Wonder Woman because of her crown, her black hair, her blue eyes. Mostly because of her crown, but if she had blonde hair, I'd go, oh, I'm not sure. She kind of looks like Wonder Woman with her hair dye. So today I'm going to make you do her hair black and her crown yellow and her star red. Well, I'm not going to make you, I can't make you, but I would love it if you would do her those colors. Anyway, let's go. Eyes. We're going to go rainbow over, rainbow under. My eyes are quite big, so they're going to come down. I know I need to leave some room for eyebrows because she looked quite silly if she didn't have eyebrows. So I'm going to go rainbow over, rainbow under. Now, typically my eyes are always, not my eyes, but my the eyes on my artwork. <laughs> oh, oh, I've only had two coffees today. The eyes on my artworks are usually quite big. So however you do your eyes is totally okay. Oh, my mark is starting to run out. Rainbow over, rainbow under. And then we do a little rainbow to cut through so she's got eyelids. Beautiful. And I'm gonna fill her eyes with a U shape because that's going to be turned into her pupil. So we wanna do one on each side. And then another U shape. Or it can be a circle if yours is, if you're, if you need it to be a circle, it can be a circle. Mostly mine are U-shapes. Eyebrow. One eyebrow over. And then this eyebrow connects to her nose line. But can you see her nose line doesn't come all the way down to touch the tip of her nose? Can you see that? I'm going to bring it close so you can have a little look. See how I left this gap? So I want you to leave a gap as well. So I'm going to come over the top, come down a little bit, and stop. I've stopped fairly high. And then her nose, usually I do really, really simple nose. Today we're going to do, it's like, it's, it's like a sideways smile. If I was looking at her there, yeah, that's a sideways smile. I've, got, I've done a, a big one in the middle, and then I'm going to do a little one on each side. But I want them all to run the same way. Look, she looks a bit funny. She'll look better when we do her in pencil. Trust the process. You've got to trust the process. Then we need her lips. So however you do your lips is totally cool. If you do love heart lips, with a line through, you can totally do that. That's an option for you. If you're only a little person, that's a really easy option for you. I like to do birdie lips. So I need to leave some space because we have some space here. So I'm going to do like a bird. You know when you draw a bird in landscapes and they go something like this, like that? A bit like that. So my bird is sort of a long, uh, a long wingspan. And then I'm going to join that up with a smile. And then I can put a line through there. So she can 
Tolkien saved the world. Really that? Cool. I can see on here, I've kind of done ears. Generally, I don't draw ears. I don't feel like drawing ears today. So I'm not going to. But I am going to pop some cheeks in just there. Because she's been running. She's been out saving the world. So she needs some, like, good pink cheeks. Her. Done. Wonder Woman. Done. Sorted. Yay! Practice complete. Now you're going to use your um, good piece of paper. Mine is a little bit heavier, but you can use whatever you want. Mine's an A3 size, but if you have A4, that will totally work. You could even do a small one. Just make sure you take up most of your page. You're going to draw with your lead pencil. I'm going to draw with my black pencil so you can see it. And hopefully I will remember the steps and we will do them in the same order. I just thought, <laughs> I feel like, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit silly. So I'm just going to calm myself down and we're going to draw. So we want to take up most of the page again. But remember, if you didn't leave much room, you can leave some room there. If you left too much, maybe you can make her face a little bit bigger. So I'm going to come down to a little bit of a point and come up again. Wall. Sometimes when I draw on the side, it goes a bit wonky. It's okay. We'll roll with that today. We will. Then remember we did that arch over. Arch over. That's it. Take my time. And remember I went with my magic marker. I've come up the middle, right up to close to the top to put a point in there for her crown. And then I'm going to come up the sides just a little bit. And if I go too fast, just pause, catch up, and then we're good to go. And then a little bit of a curve down so that crown has a bit of a curve in it. While we're there, we're going to put a star in. Don't forget her star. Super star star. Oh, that's a wonky star. Have a look at my star. It's wonky, but you know what? It's okay. I like it when my art is a bit wonky sometimes. So I'm not going to rub out. I'm going to roll with it. You should roll with it too. Okay, we're going to come down and do her neck. Remember I said her, my necks are typically long. However you do your neck, it's fine. Tree trunk. On this side and one on this side and then I'm going to come out and curve it down for her shoulders. Curve it down. Once I've done that, I'm going to put her hair in. So I'm going to come up and she's got the black wavy hair all the way down. All the way down. Beautiful. Starting to take shape, I can see her. Her eyes. So remember, we did rainbow over, rainbow under. So I'm going to come rainbow over, rainbow under. Both sides. And remember, I said my eyes are usually quite large. And I'll tell you a secret usually, one eye is bigger than the other. It's okay. It's okay. I'm okay. And then I'm going to pop her eyelids in. So we want to cut through there just a little bit. Her eyeballs, circles or U shapes. So because I can't see all of her eye, because her eyelid covers that, that's why I say U shape. You can see that. Do both sides. And then we're going to pop her pupil in. So her eyeballs and then her pupil. Sweet. Then her eyebrow. I'm going to come up and one eye, eyebrow over. This side connects, remember it connects to her nose. I run it quite close. So I don't run the line down the middle of her eyes. 
it's quite close to this this side and then coming down and then I'm going to stop now I'm actually going to mix it up a little bit because I'm not a really big fan of that noise at the moment so I'm going to do my easy noise that I like which is just it's a little curve just a little curve I'm going to bring it close if you liked your circle-y noses or your sideways smiles, I think I call them, you can do that. I'm opting for an easier nose today. And because I have my creative license, I can totally do that. Now we're going to do her lips. So remember, you do your lips however it's easy. I'm going to do them as if it's a bird in flight. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, that was a bit crazy. Join it up with a smile. Big smile to join it up. And then we need that little line through the middle. We're almost there. I'm doing her cheeks lightly. So I'm going to do them lightly. And I'm going to bring them close and show you. Can you see? They're, they're much lighter. They're not very even, but that's okay. They're much lighter though. That's all our drawing. Done! Then, I'm actually thinking medium brush in the water. And I'm gonna use this peachy color as her skin tone today. So I'm making a puddle dipped in my water and I haven't brushed my water. Can you see there's about to, there's water about to drip off there. So I'm rolling it around just gently into making a puddle. And on my good copy, I haven't painted her whole face in that fleshy color. I've come around the outskirts of her face and down her nose. So we're, I'm going to do that today. So I'm going to start up the top here and I'm just going to run. I might even have a bit much of a puddle there to be able to see that. So I'm going to do one layer really lightly. So I don't need to keep, keep dipping in the water because my puddle is puddling. And I'm going to come around her eyebrow here. And then down the side of her nose. Oops, I went into there. That's okay. And down here. So this is kind of like a bit of a light wash underneath. And I don't want it to be really even. So I'm just giving it a bit of a light wash underneath this eyebrow. And I'm going to fill in this eyelid here. This one over here too. I missed that one. Just... It's almost like I'm being a bit sketchy with the um, watercolour. And as the puddle starts to run out, my watercolour starts to get a little bit darker. So I'm just going to dip in a tiny bit because I want it to be sort of even so all the way down her face, down around her chin, come around her cheeks a little bit. I'm only going about halfway. Halfway around her cheeks and then down her neck. So I'm just coming on both outs outside edges of her neck. And that will dry pretty quickly because it's only a light wash. Light wash. And I'm going to be really careful and let that dry. Come up there a little bit. You can see that there. Yeah, she looks pretty good. I'll bring it close so you can see. Can you see it's just a light wash? And I've kind of left these bits white because it's the light and shade of her face. I'm gonna wash my brush. And I'm thinking already, I'm gonna need a smaller brush as well. So I'm gonna grab that. Kind of my pointy, smaller brush. It's not that pointy. I'm going to pick a better one. There's a better one. 
Can you see that? Yeah, I'm gonna use that one. But for now, we're gonna do this crown. Crown is that really bold, bright yellow. So that for me, it's this one up here. So pick a nice, bright yellow. And then I'm gonna fill that in. I've made a little bit of a puddle, but I want the yellow to be quite dark. So I'm not making a very big puddle like I did with the peachy color. Carefully, really carefully, really carefully go around your star. Try not to go in your star. Really carefully. And if you need to dip in your water, dip in your water. Not too much though, because you want it to be nice and bright, that really bright yellow. You might just need to dip in just a tiny bit of water. You could even use, if your crown's not very big, you could even use the smaller brush. This brush is a bit wobbly. It's a bit bristly, actually. I'm, I'm just going to go a little bit darker over it because I want it to be really, really, really yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Because she's one woman. She used to be on the TV show when I was, oh, not that long ago, when I was little, when I was young. So not very long ago, really. All right, I'm gonna change brushes. Her eyes are blue. So I'm gonna do this dark blue. This, it's not super dark, sort of like a really bright sky blue. Just a little puddle, little puddle. And I'm just going in where it should be blue. I know most of my skin colour is dry. So my hand is okay going over it. So we're not going to do her hair till almost last. Why do you think we might not do her hair till almost last? <gasps> I can hear. That's right, if we were in my art class, if you guys were here with me, I would have people going, I know, Christy, I know, I know, I know. Because her hair is black. And if we make a puddle in this water and do her hair now, before we do everything else, the water's gonna be black and mucky and yucky and it will make our watercolors bleh. Say it with me, bleh. <laughs> Thank you for saying it with me. You guys are cool. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to do these pupils either. We are going to skip and do red. So her star must be red. Because she is Wonder Woman. So I'm using this, this small brush again. And I'm making a little puddle. Not a big puddle. Just a little puddle. So when I say a little puddle, I want you to just roll your paintbrush around. That's it, and you get lots of beautiful red on your brush. I'm gonna be careful not to go near the blue. And I'm just gonna paint this in. Really, really super duper careful. Super duper careful. Because so we want that to stand out. Then I'm going to do her cheeks. So I wanted a little bit more puddly. So I'm, I've added a fair bit more water. And I've done a really light wash underneath, a bit like the skin tone. So I'm going to fill that in with a light wash. And we're going to come back to that very shortly. And try and even up her cheeks a little bit. Remember how I said I did them a bit wonky? And I want it washing. A little washing, that's better. And then 
I know I've still got lots of water on there, so I've just rolled it around again and I'm going to do her lips. See how it's darker? I didn't need to add any water. Really carefully fill that in. Really super duper careful. Beautiful. She's looking super. All right. We're going to do, I'm going to switch brushes again. So I'm going to come back to my medium brush. And this time I'm not going to make as big a puddle with that peachy color. Because I want it to be darker. So roughly I'm going to go over here where I went. I'm going to leave a little bit of an edge so I can see that lighter color right on the edges. But I want it to be a little bit darker around here. Oh, I did it again. A little bit darker through there around her cheeks. Oh, I want it. Spread that out a little bit. I didn't want that to be that dark there. And under her eyebrows, I want that to be a little bit darker. So we just, it's almost like we're adding another layer of that peachy colour. The earring keeps getting stuck. So I roll my brush, roll your brush around in that peachy colour. I'm going to come fairly close up to her lips and on her, under her chin and then down her neck. I'm going to do that darker again. I'm still leaving a little bit of light where you can see that lighter, the lighter wash. So I'm not putting as much, I'm not coming in as far this time with that skin colour, with the peachy colour. So just going to do just a tiny edge of the nose. I should have done that with the smaller brush. That's better. Come down here, a little bit there. Sabo, she's looking pretty cool. I bet yours, I bet yours looks really cool too. All right. I don't think, oh, uh, I'm going to do her pupils now, these pupils. So I've actually left, I forgot to draw that in. I've left a, like a V shape on the side because where the light hits is, is white. So I'm not going to paint that in. So I've just drawn a little V-shape in there. So you can do that too. Can you see that? Fab. And I'm going to really carefully paint around that with my small brush with black. Now this black is really dark, so I don't need to add a lot of water. I'm just, I just wet my brush and I've just rolled it around on the black to get some black on there. And really, really carefully, I'm coming in and I'm going to paint around that V. If you end up going in it, don't worry too much. It's okay. Really careful though. And really careful around this one. A little bit more black for me because I can see it's starting to go grey and I want it to be, I want her pupils to be really quite dark. Awesome. Now, I'm going to switch and use my big brush. So I've wet my big brush and making a bit of a puddle. Oops, I just went in the brown. I'm going to come around here. 
and my black is washy now. It's a, it's a bit of a washed black. And that's exactly, exactly what I want. So a bit more water. So I'm gonna come in in a minute with my small brush and we're gonna do some of these dark lines. But for now we just want it washy. Really washy but black. Make sure you do our hair black. If we are doing an authentic Wonder Woman, which we are, we need her to have dark hair. Whoa, that's a bit much. So I can spread that out. That's okay. I've just added a bit more water to my brush. And I can tell that's a bit, bit darker than this side. I want to try and have it even. So I've just added water to my brush. And I can spread that out. There we go. Sorted. Watercolor's really cool like that. When it starts to drag, can you see here that the, color, the brush, you can see the brush marks, I know that I need to reload. So I just, whoa, did you see that? Oops. You know, we don't pause here. We're unscripted. We're live. Well, not live, but we're not edited. I almost did it again. Pay attention. It's just, yeah, it's still washy. Sorry about that. Thank you for understanding though that it's unscripted and that we just keep going. Sometimes we just keep going. Oh no, all the time in our class, we just keep going. Washy done. Washy black hair done. Now I'm going to change to my small brush again. Little brush. And this time I don't want to make it washy. I want it quite thick. I mean, bright. So this time I'm going to hold it like a pencil and I'm going to be sketchy with it. So I'm going to go, I don't mind if, it, if I don't follow the exact lines. Can you see how I didn't follow the exact lines there? It's totally okay. I need to add some more black because I can see the colour starting to drag out. Some more and then I put some lines through her hair here just so it doesn't look too flat so there we go she's looking cool I like her not heaps you don't have to do heaps just enough so we always I always try and stand back and have a look she looks super. So now here's your turn. You might need to let her dry. Because what would happen if this is wet or damp still and I come in with my black pencil that I told you guys you need? What do you think would happen? Have a think. While I sharpen my pencil. Yeah, you're right. That totally would happen. It would happen. It would it's going to tear the paper because when the paper's wet and we use a pencil they're not great friends the paper goes oh no i'm still wet please don't draw on me yet because you might tear me mine's pretty dry i can see it's pretty dry it needs to be fairly dry for you to do this bit so if you need go away for i don't know have a little movement break do a little dance eat something and then come back and then you are going to sketch over your lines. So I'm going to go sketchy. I'm being soft because I know this is still a bit damp. Sketchy, but we want her outline to pop out. So I'm being a little bit messy and that's okay. Her eyebrows, these ones are really quite messy, but they're dark. So be a bit messy. Her face, outline her face. Totally okay to be a bit messy. My lines are not perfect. And then her eyebrow, her eyes. I'm gonna go. And here. And I'm gonna draw a few lines in here. So, because our pupils 
um, our eyeballs aren't all one colour, I'm just going to add some little black lines. They're kind of curved. So if you have a good look at your eyes in the mirror, you'll be able to see little different colours of your eyeball or different shades of what colour your eyes are. So instead of changing colours, I'm just going to do some lines in her eyes. I'm going to bring it close so you can see that because I think it might be hard to see. Can you see? Oh, there you go. Come down her nose, left that space, sketchy nose, simple nose. I like the simple nose. Outline her lips. I'm pushing because it's quite dry now. I'm pushing quite hard. So again, I cannot tell you enough. You need to wait till she's dry. Wait till she's dry, otherwise she's going to tear. Down here with her neck. And I kind of like her that she's sketchy. And then her hair. So I'm just going to go outside or just on the very edge of her hair. How cool is she? I'm not going to go around her cheeks, but remember I did say I was going to come back. We forgot to do that. So I'm just going to dampen my brush and dip it in the red a little bit. Just a little bit. And I'm only going to do half of her cheek a little bit darker. That's really quite dark actually. Dip in a bit more water and then I can spread it out. That's better. Bit of water. Saves the day. And we'll do the same on the other side. I'm doing the same. The same side on each cheek. Because that's where our light and shade is a little bit. It's not absolutely no. perfect and it doesn't have to be. But I'm not going to outline her cheeks with the black pencil. I can call her done, but not finished. I know you know why. If you've done my class before, you totally know why she's not finished. Because we have to sign her. We just have to sign her and then I'll be done. So, when you do my art class, you can sign your art anywhere you like. Anywhere you like. Totally okay to sign it anywhere you like. Everybody say hi, Mackenzie. <laughs> Welcome to art class, Mackenzie. You gonna say hi? Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. She loves Wonder Woman too. She's dressed up as Wonder Woman when she was little as well. <laughs> Sorry. All right, now, now we have to sign. I'm gonna sign with my black pencil. And when I sign my name, I draw a love heart and then I write my name. I'm only gonna do a little dab here today. So you love Christy. But you can sign yours wherever you like. When I say sign, you, I mean you have to write your name because you're an artist. So you can write your first name, your last name. You can use your initials if you want to, but it has to be on the front. I'm going to bring mine close so you can see my signature. There it is. And now we can call her finished. I hope you love your Wonder Woman as much as I do. I would love, 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 wouldn't I love it, Mackenzie, to see your Wonder Woman? <laughs> She's like looking at me like, you're not normal. Um, so, if you say to your big human, please, my big human, could you send Christy a picture of my Wonder Woman? I would love that. I love seeing your artworks. They're awesome. Um, so you can send it to me however they want to send it to me through Instagram or Facebook. You can hashtag Art Class with Christy. And then last thing you have to do is make your space spectacularly spotless. So you can do art with me again. If you make your space spectacularly spotless, your big human will definitely love you because I will love you if you clean up your space. Um, and until next time I see you, I'm going to say bye. Mackenzie might shout bye. Bye. Oh, and I will see you next time. Bye.